Hey everybody, it's Chris again, back with another review for the Blue Collar Cicerone. Uh, today I've got an IPA from Lakewood, New York. It's called, it's from a brewery called uh, Southern Tier Brewing. And the, the beer itself is just simply called the Double IPA. Uh, there's no uh, brand name attached to it. Uh, it comes, uh, I've got it tonight in a 12 ounce bottle. And uh, it has three hops, I'm sorry, four hops, three malts, and an ABV of 8.2. So for an Imperial or a Double IPA, that's kind of what you'd expect. You'd expect a higher uh, alcohol content like that. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and open it. Got a little smoke there. Give this up some, don't I? Appreciate everybody being patient with me. Definitely learning as I go. All right, so you, as you can see, I put way too much head on this, but uh, that's that's all right. Uh, very vigorous carbonation, uh, a deep golden yellow. Um, nice firm head. Uh, like I said, obviously I put too much into it, but um, nonetheless, that's. Uh, that's that's not going anywhere. That's that's a nice firm, uh, cream-colored head. Um, you, okay, you get the hop smell, but it's it's not. I'm not gonna. I would say the hop smell is not uh, not especially strong. Not as strong as I was expecting it to be. Um, now we haven't tasted it yet. We have no idea how that's going to do, but. Uh, the hops are definitely piney and citrusy, the standard uh, what you'd expect for an IPA in terms of hop combination. Alright. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Um, not bad. Uh, not particularly bitter. Um, and usually the Imperials are not quite as bitter as, as the standards, uh, the, or the double IPA, I'm sorry, this is a double IPA. Uh, some will argue it's a matter of semantics, some won't, um, but you can weigh in on the comments. In fact, I'd love it if everybody would weigh in on the comments uh, as to uh, their belief of whether a double IPA and an Imperial IPA are two different or the same thing, and let's get some, uh, let's get some good debate going. This... This is, this is all right. It's, um, I'm not going to say this is my favorite double IPA. Here in the Northwest, sometimes it can be difficult to get East Coast beers, so I am glad to see uh, uh, a, a, comp a, a brewery out of uh, Lakewood, New York, making their way to Lakewood, Washington. That's, uh, I suppose there's some sort of uh, ironic joke somewhere in that, isn't there? Well, anyway, um, not particularly strong on, on uh, aroma or on uh, flavor, really. Um, very mellow, but you are getting some of that alcohol in the back now. I'm, I'm starting to get some of that alcohol in the back. A uh, little bit of that heat. I'd say the mouthfeel is somewhere in a, maybe a medium. Yeah, I'd say, I'd just say a standard medium mouthfeel for, uh, for the heat. Not bad, uh, not not extraordinary either. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of this in, and uh, I'm gonna sit down and watch Bob's Burgers and uh, finish off the rest of this. Still, at this point, has a fair amount of of uh, carbonation, and um, that is a really nice color. Uh, This is okay. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. I would be uh, I would be interested in trying other beers from uh, Southern Tier. So uh, I'm gonna set that one aside. I'll come back to you guys later. Um, yesterday I did volunteer at the Brew Five Three Beer Fest in downtown Tacoma. Um, it's a it was a great event. Uh, 
a great cause and uh, did get to try a lot of great beers. If you uh, check my uh, Twitter handle at the Blue Collar Cicerone, you'll see that I gave a few shout outs to um, a couple of the different breweries. And if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see there that I, I uh, basically did a blog entry of my ruminations of what it was like to work there yesterday, what it was like to volunteer. And um, so uh, once again, as always, I, I uh, and there's the ice cream truck man, if you can probably hear him. Uh, once again, I, I uh, appreciate all your views, all your subscriptions, um, all your comments, and uh, cheers to good beer. Bye, everybody.